Hi guys, it's Jen here from Just Jen Cosplay and welcome back to my bi-weekly vlog now. Um, so today what I wanted to talk about was um, creating your own costume, like your own idea. So, so far Lady Sylvanas and my glass armour have both been made from um, looking at a picture and going, that's what I want to make. Um, so because I'm a glutton for punishment, uh, this time I decided that the costume I was going to make would be my own design of a character. Um, now that character is a horse. <laughs> um, how do you do that, you might be saying. How do I make my own costume? Well, never fear. I have some tips for you. Basically, don't do what I did. <laughs> no, um, so my start... Um, this is really bad, I'm really sorry because my dog managed to drop coffee on it. But my starting idea was basically to draw out all the different elements of of her. Um, so stuff like the horn and the crown that she's got on, her tail, the wings, um, little, um, so like on her hooves she's got these little um, shapes like this. Um, so it was all these sort of little bits where I, I looked at all the different elements that came in to make up that character. That was just a bit of doodling. Doodles. Um, the next thing I did was attempt to draw a person. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out which one first. Something like this. It was an idea of like how I wanted it to, to look roughly. And actually it's not far off of this in the end. Um, so effectively what I was doing in my head was um, thinking of things that I was good at doing. So. I'm pretty okay at making braces, let's make some braces. I seem to be okay at doing the breastplates now, I've done a couple of them, so that's a lot easier for me. Um, one of the things I am not very good at is sewing, so I tried to limit the amount of sewing I was going to be doing um, within this. And then the other thing that I wanted to do was to do a horn and wings, because she is a corn, so that is one of the things I was like, yeah, very much want to, to incorporate those. Um, so, yeah, basically, you, you don't have to be a great drawer, as you can see, like, my drawings aren't great, and in fact I made it so that I could reverse it and draw on the, on the back. <laughs> um, but that is one of the things that I would suggest, is having a real think about, when you're making your own design, you can do whatever you want. There is, there is no right or wrong when it comes to cosplay, so, yay. Um, but you do have to have a think about what um, what you want to portray in that costume. Um, so it might be that actually I, I, I just want to look like a horse. So you're going to make like a full on base thing because obviously horses have really long faces. Um, it might be that you just want to wear the colour and then have a horn. Ah, and that's it. That might just be your entire costume. Um, or you might go, well actually I'm a human so I'm not going to have a horn or wings, I'm just going to go with a crown. Um, one of the things I would say to have a th real think about is um, when you're doing a character, and any character, this goes for whether you're your own character or whether you are doing one that already exists and you're just replicating it, is two things, uh, contacts, are you going to wear contacts? So for this character I decided I was, so I bought some. Um, depending on the contacts you get, they can be anything from around sort of, I think seven ninety nine is the cheapest I found for a monthly pair. Um, you can find dailies, but yeah, if you're not used, if you don't have daily contact lenses, you're not going to want to just put them in for one day. You're going to want some that you can reuse because you're going to have to practice putting them in. And the other thing is a wig. So uh, you can see here, this is the wig for. I've got to do some work on it, but that's the that's the base wig. Uh, and that was £22, I think it was £22.99, something like that. Um, but usually, I mean, Sylvanas the, is a lovely wig, it's probably my, my nicest wig, and that is a lace front wig. Uh, and a semi-decent lace front wig is going to set you back at least £30. Um, these contacts I went for annual ones because actually they're going to be the right colour for a couple of other costumes I would like to do, whether or not I get around to doing them, I don't know. But also this potentially is going to be a work in progress, so it might be a case of I wear it as it is to Bournemouth and then I'm going to do some more work over the year, so I wanted to go with annual ones. So they were, including shipping, I think they were nearly nearly £17. So we're looking at 17 and 23 before you've even started, before I've even made a costume. 
Um, so that's definitely one of the things you need to think about is that if you are going to wear wigs, contacts, um, and of course you're going to have to wear some kind of makeup. Um, even men really should be wearing makeup to make yourself look more like the character, whether it's cutting in cheekbones or something. Um, and it, now, don't get me wrong, makeup does not have to be expensive. You can go with cheap stuff. You don't have to go to Cryoland sales or anything like that. Um, you can pick some stuff up from Wilkinson's. But it's going to cost you money if you don't have any already, if you don't have any just in, in your cupboard. Um, so that is all the things you need to think about before you've even got as far as making a costume. Um, the next thing then, once you've got the idea of like wigs, contacts and your general idea of what you're going to make, you've done your sketches and everything, which of course, well, you can sketch stuff and it just, look, these just stay here. Na na, that's why, why sketching things is great. You have to think more about how they're going to work. So I started thinking about like, how was the wing going to work? And I sketched out a diff couple of different ways of that working. Um, how what kind of material are you going to use? So I decided quite early on that I had a roll of black warbler. Um, so I wanted to try using that. That was that. That's as far as it went. Um, of course, she's got quite a few black elements to her. So she's sort of black and blue, really, the colours. So that worked really well as well, because I don't necessarily have to paint the black warbler. Ah, works, quite, works out quite well for me. Um, so yeah, there's elements of colour, cost, and also what you want it to do. So of course, as I've shown you before, you can make a breastplate out of warbler. So well, this is uh, got a warbler, yeah. You can make it fully out of foam, like the glass armour. You can go for some mix, so I've seen some people maybe make this part out of warbler and then the booby cups out of foam. Um, so you really have got tons of choices and of course you don't even have to go for an armoured look, you could make it out of fabric. Um, if you're a sewer you can make a dress, there's no, you know, it's up to you, that's the great thing of own take on a character is that you can do whatever you like. Um, now. I kind of mixed a bit and in my mind I was like this is she's obviously everything that's colored is her is in, in the blue color is actually her her skin fur her it's her um so I wanted to go for a very organic look um so I decided quite early on that what I wanted to do was to make things like the braces out of the black warbler and then cover them in fabric so they felt more natural than just like armor um and so that was a learning curve, like what kind of fabrics do I need that will then stick? And I went with, this is just a cotton, 100% um, cotton. And I decided partly on that because I wanted to stick away from fabric based, um, sorry, plastic based fabrics. And um, partly because of something that I've been reading about the fact that every time we wash fabric, um, we're releasing microfibers microplastics into the oceans and that's something I would like to get away from um, but also just because that seemed like the right it was the right colour the right sort of texture and and I have to say it stuck really well to it so I'm really pleased with that so I would recommend 100% um, cotton for that um, and then for me it was the detailing in in foam over the top so that will look something like that when it's stuck on Na -na. Um, so that's one of my, my things to do today on my stream. So if you do want to watch, I like, I, most of the stuff that I have been making for this costume has all been made on Twitch. So if you do want to check it out, it is twitch.tv forward slash justjencosplay. Um, I do stream twice a week as well as doing these bi-weekly vlogs now. So um, if, you've, if you fancy coming and hanging out and asking me questions as I'm doing stuff, please do. Follow costs nothing. So yeah. Um, where was I? So, yeah, what you're going to make it out of, how you're going to attach it, you know, these are going to be the, like, side armour plates and they're going to have the cutie mark on them, but they're not just going to stay there, so how am I going to attach those? Are they going to be, you've got anything from elastic to um, magnets, I've seen all sorts of fun stuff with magnets. You can use Velcro. So you could attach Velcro to you somehow and stick them to there. A lot of Sylvanas was, was Velcro and or elastic and everything on the glass armour attaches with Velcro. It's all really easy to put on. Oh, except the um, braces, which are a good old sort of, uh, I guess, corset style 
um, bit of f um, lace lacing up that you just pull tight. <laughs> that didn't work out very well. <laughs> that would have been perfect if it just like, landed. Um, Sorry about that. Uh, my phone just stopped recording. I've been having trouble with my phone, so I'm hoping this is not going to be a reoccurring thing because it's going to be real troublesome. Yeah, so there we go. There's, that's the wing. It's got nut and bolt in it, and that's how it opens up. Ta -da! So, yeah, research really is, is the key. Like, you need to have a think about how everything is going to fit together. Um, and also, if you're using something like foam, you're going to need to prime the foam. So, I have tried Flexi Paint. Uh, flexi paint is uh, latex free and it's great. The only issue that the only it's not a real problem is that it becomes really sticky. So um, like the paint is tacky, um, so you then have to seal it with a silicon oil. Uh, I have also tried some hex flex. So when I was at Cos Expo, uh, Polyprops, who I buy my foam from, were there, and whilst we were there, they did give us some free foam and some free hex flex. Um, so I'm trying that out as well. So again, both of those are. Uh, well, as as in their their name, they're flexible paints. They're primers, and you can mix them. Um, especially like if you've got a white colour, you can mix it in with any acrylic paints to make the colour you want. So I actually mixed it in with some black to to paint those up so that they could um, they could all be primed. Uh, because actually, even though it's black foam, when you look at it, it's slightly grey. It's not quite black. Um, what else can I suggest? Um, I would tell you that whatever you design, whatever you've got in your head is probably not what is going to come out. So um, just remember that floating shoulder pads and and armour and stuff, it doesn't work like that. As we know, if you've ever tried making any <laughs> any um, armour piece or, or out of uh, foam or warbler, that it never quite looks like the picture does. That said, you can make fairly good approximations and there are ways around things, but you're never just going to have, uh, like that's just never going to sit there, just like that. You've got to have something to hold it in place, unless you're just not going to move for the entire day. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that's been somewhat helpful. Um, I'm not sure where it cut out, uh, so I am just going to say again that I have been making almost all of this on Twitch. So please do come and hang out on twitch.tv forward slash justgencosplay. A follow costs you nothing and it's great for me and it shows that you're supporting me and that you care about what I do. Um, and also you can just ask me questions. So whilst I'm doing stuff I'll be, you know, painting and you can ask what kind of paint I'm using or why I've picked that particular uh, method or whatever. I'm, I'm more than happy to answer questions. I might not have the answer. Bear in mind, I am just a rookie, really. I'm only... Well, I think about it. I'm like three years into to making stuff now. But um, I am slow, still. This is this this build, by far, Princess Luna, is my fastest build. Um, so I'm hoping that in two weeks' time, I will be able to show you something a little bit more than just bare bones, because that's what it is at the moment. Um, but I'm having fun. And I, actually, I have to say, I am really enjoying Twitch streaming. Um, so yeah, if you if you do fancy fancy having a go, and you've got any questions, I am by no means a pro at all. But I have now done what eight or nine streams, so um, I I know a bit. I know a bit. I can stream. So there we go. That's that's the basics. Um, and I have been really enjoying myself, even though I did knock over my paint during one of my streams and had to try and tidy it up in not like a, ah, I couldn't just like cancel the stream. <laughs> I had to really like keep talking to people, but, uh, oh, it's all, it's all part of the fun, isn't it? And like, you can see where like, I, yeah, that's, that's all paint. That's a shame because I, I wanted to keep this because this, this was the, um, the pattern I made out for, for this as you can see, and I wanted to use it again so that whenever I mimic that pattern again, which I'm going to do in part of the um, like the tabard bit at the front that I'm making, um, so I wanted to use that same same shape, but um, it still should be all right, it's just got a lot of paint on it. <laughs> I think that's everything. Um, 
As always, if you have any questions, any queries, you can drop them below. You can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Twitch now. Oh, don't forget Vero as well, um, all under Justin Cosplay. And yeah, have a great couple of weeks, and I'll talk to you again in two weeks' time. Bye-bye.